absolutely terrific. And Kevin, thank you. Okay, we have a kick in for Kilmore about to take place. And there it goes. Out right onto the 40 metre line there's a good mark to Cruiser. Big he looks a uh, real prospect, doesn't he? Uh, Cruiser gets the ball further around the uh, out of the got nothing. Kilmore keep possession. The hand pass over the top and kick into the middle there. And Jared Tilly takes the place on the stop to keep an eye out for the Cruiser Tilly combination. And uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit now. Get back there, walk chop! Get back chop! Good work chop! And picking it up, uh, Andy Rowan. Good work! Great work! Great work, Chopsy! Shout out to Chop! Good deal! 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 Good deal!
Gilmore come wide to this side of the ground where Luke Crowley gets it. He continues to play around this broadcast side of the ground and it's just out of our view for the moment. Uh, a high tackle on Ruth. A high tackle on Ruth and a free kick to Rowan. Rowan looking for Irons. Can't find him and it's tackled and he's gone over the line and out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in uh, just forward of the centre line favouring the Walland end as the Ruckman go at it. Kite at the back, won it down, punch forward by Hanson. He got two plays here, Galea picks it up. He was OK Shepherd there by his teammate in Keenan. He comes backwards and the mark's being juggled over the boundary line so there's no other option but to have thrown it in. And that was Josh Campbell who just couldn't uh, take it in on the first grab. So the Ruckman line up again. It's thrown in, the Wallen Ruckman in front, and that was Kite. He won it down. Diving on the ball there was uh, Irons. He's been tackled immediately, can't get it out. Umpire says, give it to me, and we'll ball it up. And uh, he's had a... Umpire balls it up. Cruiser used the body well. Getting a quick kick out of there was Smith. It goes forward. Desmond got a fist to it. And um, uh, Wallen are there at ground level. Picked up there. Woo! by um, Hanson that was and he has a quick shot on goal and he's kicked at Brenton Hanson and uh, it looked like he cut one high as he got the kick away but it didn't affect the kick. <laughs> he's letting a few know about it too and uh, he's uh, coming off the ground immediately but what a great goal he missed earlier from a set shot and uh, Hanson putting that one through for Wallen and that takes the central forward scoreboard. 2, Kilmore 4-4, four, four, 28, Wallen 3-7-25. Central Ford drive away deals get more than you expect at LMCT 8179. As the ball comes back to the centre for another bounce. And uh, this time uh, Cruiser won that down. A tap over the top there by Crowley. Gets it going in his team way. Sheldon couldn't get there. Mark beat into the ball, but Sheldon, as always, stays in the contest. Appeared to cut one high there. Umpire call. Play on. He got the hand pass out. Cruiser did well for a big bloke to bend down. Pick it up. Uh, picking it up now is Desmond. He drives it forward. We're out here on the half forward flank. If the ball was set for him, we have. Um, uh, Marcus Webb, he picked it up, drove it inside, found Crump inside 50. He's got an option that he likes. It's one of the big blokes. They fought over it. They should have let it go. He's dropped the mark there in uh, Crowley, I think it was. It comes out the back to Bell. Bell drives it outside 50 where he's got Collis. Marks plays on quickly. He got the low kick forward. It wasn't his best. And uh, leading in the race for the ball there was Keenan. He got it out wide. Out there's Galea. He does a 360 umpire. That's holding the ball. And the umpire says, I agree. And we'll give Kilmore a free kick there. On centre wing, and that's to Adam Milne. Oh well, boy, you will whistle for Christmas night as the ball goes out to the centre wing and kicked around further for Kilmore, where the mark is taken there by Matty Lazarus. Uh, he drives it up towards the forward line in the vanguard there for Kilmore is Jared Tilly. Tilly gets a quick kick looking for Crump. Crump is driven into the ground and Wallen clear it away but it's uh, going to be over the line now a Kilmore mark just inside the boundary. Now Kilmore are going to centre the ball but uh, the kick is astray and bursting through and taking it there as Nick goes uh, Josh Ruth for, uh, uh, for Wallen. Ruth's kick goes to the centre wing. It's relayed on there uh, for Wallen by Todd Keenan. Keenan drives it towards goal and he's kicked it. By golly he has. What a good shot Todd Keenan. You need more than a great product to be a great Ford dealership. You need after sale service, genuine spare parts, A1 accredited workmanship and most importantly great deals. For a new Ford deal you thought only I was got. Central Ford Gilmore. LMCT 8179. Sponsoring Mitchell Community. Yes, yeah, Central Ford scoreboard reading Nathan. 4428 Kilmore trailing Wallen 4731. Ball back in the middle, and the big fellow's about to do battle again. It's been a pretty even contest. Wallen wins this. Straight down the throat of Morgan Smith. Smith drives it up towards the half-forward line. Dashing is Reese Frost. He picks it up, goes one way, then the other. Drives it into centre, half-forward, and there's a very, very easy mark to Smith for the Wallen team. And they're looking a little bit better. Easy easy mark for Wallen, but uh, I think the Kilmore players are looking 
looking around at each other and saying, uh, well, who's on him? Who's, who's on, on him? him? Yeah, because he, he got the ball out of the centre and then he just ran forward uh, at will and uh, stood there uncontested and took the mark. And Morgan Smith goes back and uh, oh, though he's missed, missed to the right hand mm. side and threw for a minus score. Costly miss, but it does make the scoreboard very interesting. And uh, what have we got the difference, Nath? Just four points. Four points. Mm. Uh, so well one by uh, the kicking comes in. It was a bad one by Kilmore. Frost got it, but he uh, lost it. Uh, doing well there, and there's a high tackle, and it'll go to Kilmore, and that could even be 50 metres if he's not careful. But no, the umpire says no. Go back, Nick, yes. and take your kick. Smith's adrenaline is uh, really running as Sheldon comes in, takes the ball, drives it to the outer side of the ground. Good Mark Cruiser reaching those long arms up into the air. He gets a hand pass away. Kilmore go to the centre of the ground. It's slightly in their attacking zone, leading in the race for the ball is Lazarus he can't uh, sorry Alec Desmond he can't pick it up and the umpire's whistle's blown and there's a free kick to Wallen at the bottom of the pack and uh, 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 Ruth Ruth got the hand pass across to Mark Mark went wider to Carly Carly drives it forward but it's a bad one because standing there all alone for uh, Kilmore was John Cruiser and he marked easily in defence he plays on goes forward and uh, finds a teammate on centre wing and that uh, is David Heather by the looks out there? Yeah, Dave, uh, his secretary of the he's club as well. He's going to come in, find short Nick Sheldon, making plenty of space there. Sheldon plays on with another short kick as they're going to come across defensive 50, and that's Hayden Wolf taking the mark. Now, where's the next uh, link in the chain? He's going to go back out wide and find Sheldon taking a diving mark. Come on, they're mucking around with it out there, looking for an option if they got one, yes. Dashing through in the centre to take the mark there uh, was, uh, who was it? <laughs> it was Lazarus, wasn't that, it? That'll make Kevin happy. I just threw that one in for Kev. No, uh, it was uh, Ryan Ristick. Ryan Ristick, that's who it was. We both knew that. We were just testing each other. As the ball comes forward and there's a good mark to the big fellow uh, down there in Michael Brennan. Brennan drives it into centre half forward. And guess who's marked it again? He's looking very dangerous up there is Simon Crump. Crump now with the ball. He's 40 metres out, maybe 38. 38.2 to be precise. And uh, he's lining up for his fourth goal. Geez, had a good game. And uh, we're only into the second quarter. Crump coming in now. Lines very deliberately. Doesn't seem to be uh, favour favouring either scoring in. As Crump lines up. The drop looks good. The kick looks good. The goal umpire is getting right under it. Strains his neck back. If he was a turkey, he would have lost the head and everything. Uh, but it's a goal. A goal to Simon Crump. Giving him four for the game, which is an outstanding performance already. And hasn't he teamed well on a, more than one occasion with big Michael Brennan? Yes, no, uh, he's uh, really lively up there in the forward 50, is Crump, and uh, he's given them really something to uh, kick at when they go forward. And on central forward scoreboard, Kilmore 5-4-34, leading Wallen 4-8-32. And at central forward, you get drive-away deals, get more than you expected, LMCT 8179. And now into the ruckers, Nick Ferris, uh, but he's beaten for it, taken away for Wallen by uh, Ali Womack, who... Uh, our coach Trevor Frost told us to keep an eye on and he's done a couple of nice things it comes out to Irons who for mine has been best on the ground at this stage he gets a wobbly old hand pass away stacks on the mill nobody can uh, win the ball clear and the umpire comes in and throws up Ferris goes up and uh, got the knockdown Kilmore are going to come away through Josh Allen he gets it around the wing Sheldon can't mark it's picked up again by Wallen driven forward but in defence there is Hayden Wolf for the Kilmore side he gets a hand pass away goes across to Jesse Park and Park and comes to the broadside side of the ground and there's a mark out there but I can't see who it is Matt Lazarus I've lost him Lazarus is going to go in short. He's got a couple of spare men and he finds one of them at uh, half back. He drives it forward looking for Brennan, but he kicked it at his toes. How about Yami? A little bit higher at his chest and he might mark it. And getting the ball there for Wallen is Goodwin. He drives it forward. Almost taking a good mark there was Wolf, but he got spoiled late. Um, uh, goes back well there is Alan. No, there's going to be a free kick and, and it's going to go to Snaith 
for yeah. getting one high off Barber. Yeah, that was a good second effort by Wolf, who eventually got it to Allen. But uh, Snaith got the infringement and won the kick. Comes around this side of the ground. And um, Randone got a hand pass off. A little kick around the corner by Sheldon. Was picked up there by Smith. He drives it inwards. Finds a teammate there on the wing. It goes off by hands to Goodwin. He drives it forward looking for Frost. Frost takes good a good mark, mark under pressure. Right, just outside 50. I think he's crept a bit there on the mark. The umpire said no. Frost drives it out in front of Barber. But uh, he's killed more opponent out there. And Snaith's got a little Ooh. bit more... Uh, uh. And, him, and he made sure the ball found the boundary line and he almost found a car and uh, it's out of bounds uh, in the forward 50 for Wallen. It's lucky uh, there's no sign there, Nate, or there would have been a nasty accident, Tommy Snaith. Okay, Ferris wins the tap, punches it out towards the Kilmore direction but again it's over the line and out of bounds and this is a very, very entertaining game, mate. Eh? It is. No, both sides have uh, come ready to play and uh, they're giving us a good game here as the umpire throws the ball in. Bell and Ferris to go at it. Ferris maybe won that umpire call play on and it goes straight back out over the boundary line and uh, we'll do it all over again. Uh, the ball on, uh, or in the forward pocket uh, for Wallen who are kicking to, uh, to the away end. Uh, Ferris doing a good job in the ruck wins the ball down, Kilmore scramble it around the boundary, gain about 30 metres and we'll have another throw in this time on the half back flank for Kilmore so again Ferris lining up in the ruck and his opponent is Matty Bell so Ferris and Bell go at it. Ferris maybe run it down again. And it trails towards the boundary line. Picked up there by Wallen Play. Got a hand pass. Ferris intercepted it. Turned around. Kicked it forward. Desmond with a good pick up. Plays on quickly. Drives it in towards the centre of the ground. Where leading in the race for the ball there was Crump. He drives it forward. No, leading in the race out there is um, Alex Desmond, is it? And he has a shot on goal. And he's kicked it. Wow. <laughs> he has indeed. And I'll tell you what. If Alec hadn't kicked that he would have got a swift kick in the tail from the coach I reckon because he could have run right in Nate but he let loose from 35 metres out and he's put it through and do you notice he's wearing um, wearing the number 15 Guernsey today yes so uh, Alec gets his first goal of the afternoon and uh Helps Kilmore uh, increase their lead as they lead on the Central Ford scoreboard. Kilmore 6-4-40, leading by eight points over Wallen, 4-8-32 as we... Mm. What a game we have on our hands. We're back in the middle. Bell and Ferris go at it. Bell climbed high, won it down to Irons. Good roving. He got a quick kick around the corner. It's tapped forward there by Wallen Man. He got it across to Keenan. He sits it out in front of Barber. He sets him a task. The ball sits nicely for him. He runs around one, tries to get around the second. He can't get around the oh, second. Great tackle there in defence by the Kilmore player in David Heather. And uh, Heather's uh, taken the free kick. He's going to bring it out to this commentary side in front almost took the mark there was Cox he couldn't do it Ferris trying to do the roving he should leave that for the little fellas Ferris he uh, working hard in there is um, the Kilmore players in uh, Randone and the ball ain't going to come out there in a hat in a hurry and Sheldon's on the bottom of the pack he gives the ball back to the umpire the ball's thrown up. Ferris front position won it down. Randone got a little kick to Sheldon. Sheldon swung as he kicked. He's going to get a free kick because the umpire said the tackle was a slightly high and the ball's going to come back to Nicky Sheldon. Nah, it won't be down the ground, big fella. So he Sheldon did try. He tried very hard, did Brennan. <laughs> Sheldon with the free kick at half back for Kilmore. Now Brennan's got to lead up and give him uh, the option again. He's kicked it over him. All Wallen players flew high there, and Carly couldn't take it. Shraven at the back of the pack. He's got the pace over Cox, and he picks it up. He drives it in uh, centre. It's goal taking it a little bit easy there with Smith, and he let the ball go through his hands. Uh, Taxamus is trying to pick it up. He can't. Coming through was Crumpy. He only went with a one hand. Mark comes out. Crump lays a strong tackle, umpire calls play on a good hand pass up there gave uh, Stanley a good uh, look at it he kicks it forward, Bell out there he tried to shepherd for his teammate who's now strongly tackled in Keenan he got around him though, he drives it inside forward 50 and almost finding Galea couldn't take the mark, Ferris doing a good job but he couldn't pick the ball up at ground level Wolf got a hand pass back to a teammate who kicked it out and he's uh, got a couple of spare players out there and uh, one of them, Jared Tilly Tilly takes the ball, he gets it across 
across to a teammate. They drive it forward. Kilmore into the 50 zone again. Uh, leading in the race for the ball and winning it nicely. Sending it across the face of goal. But no one home. Picking it up there was uh, David Saunders. Saunders gets a hand pass out. There's a free kick. And uh, it will go Rollins way against um, Marcus Webb. And the free kick goes to Morgan Smith. He finds Mark just still inside defensive 50. He's got a free player out wider. It's Lee Irons. He took a uh, good mark overhead. He plays on, goes forward, finds Todd Keenan. He plays on. He's got runners out wide. One of them out there is uh, Stanley. He left it for Galea. Galea picks it up, drives it in short and finds Rex Heppy. And Rex Heppy will go back and have a shot maybe on goal. He's on a tight angle. Looks like he's just inside the boundary line from our uh, vantage point here. But he's only about... Uh, he'll kick from about 30 metres out. Well, he's been a reasonable target down there for Wallen. Nice, the same as at the other end. We've got uh, Simon Crump, a good target for uh, for Kilmore. Now, Sam Rexepi about to take the kick from the boundary. Uh, it looks like he's going with a traditional drop punt. Lines it up. There it is. It's on the way and it's missed to the near side and through for another behind. So the Central Ford scoreboard reads Kilmore 6440 leading Wallen 4939. Okay, and uh, a very, very interesting game indeed here as about to take the kick in is Hayden Wolf for the Kilmore side. He goes short. Finds Crowley. Crowley look for Snaith, but Lee Irons has chipped in in front of him and taken the mark at about f uh, 40 metres out, directly in front. Yeah, bad mistake there from uh, from Luke Crowley. Uh, and good play, Lee Irons, who's, well, in my opinion, would be best on ground at the moment. Now he gets very close to the man on the mark, pulls it across the body, but it's got enough legs and it's through for a goal. A goal to Wallen and Lee Irons. Look, look, who's there? Best new Ford deals ever. Best new Ford deals ever. Who? Central Ford, Kilmore, for the best new Ford deals ever. Deals you thought only others got. Central Ford, Kilmore, LMC 8179 Sponsoring Mitchell Kilmore. We go, <laughs> and that's all right, Louis. You haven't had your usual potato cakes today. I had dim sims. Yeah, good. Nice. You made the right choice, believe you me. Who uh, had the potato cakes? <laughs> <laughs> Up they go. No one wins a decisive knockout. Ball on the ground in the centre circle. Uh, shoveled out. Play on calls the umpire, but you're going to have to stop it, ump. And it's go sorry, Nate. And it's uh, going to have to uh, be thrown up again. Up they go again. This time the knockout's clear from the big fellow cruiser straight to uh, Desmond. Desmond gets it forward, but Wallen in defence come through very quickly and drive it back from whence it came. Oh, nice pick up there for Wallen by Todd Keenan. He gets a big ping on goal, but he's missed to the right hand side and through for a behind. Wasting no time. Kilmore bring it straight back into play and Hayden Wolf takes the ball on this uh, broadcast side. He gets a short kick to Allen. Allen looking for somewhere to go. You want to aim at your big fellows mate. No one's moving fast for him. Cruises loose under our broadcast box uh, but he goes for the other big bloke in Ferris. Ferris ran under it. Uh, picking it up there for Wallen was uh, Josh Campbell. Um, He's a free, free kick to Campbell. And uh, yeah having uh, words uh, to the umpire, Ryan Ristick, as uh, Campbell kicks Campbell it in, kicks finds Collis. Collis drives it forward looking for Bell. He had to get down and pick it up. He did well. He got the hand pass off to Mark. Mark runs to 50, has a shot, shot, shot on goal. That's a good mark. But it's a good mark on the edge of the goal square by Rex Heppy. And uh, he'll go back and uh, have a shot for his second of the afternoon. Plays on. Umpire says, no, you no, can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> a good thought, Sam, but uh, unfortunately the umpire was awake to what you were doing. So was the opposition. Now, Sam Rex happy with the ball. Only 10 or 12 metres. Uh, well, he wouldn't even be that. The umpire having a little bit of difficulty setting the mark. The player's having a little bit of difficulty getting the ball back. Now the ball's back. Rex Heppy has it as coming on for Kilmore is uh, Matty Lazarus. 
Now, Rex Happy goes for the banana this time, winds it up, it's right across the face of goal, didn't get any bend on it whatsoever, and it's out of bounds on the floor. A free kick to Kilmore via Hayden Wolf. Wolf goes in short. He finds in turn Luke Crowley. Crowley goes across the face of goal, and they're fitting around in defence with a kick into the man on the mark, and this could be dangerous for Kilmore as the ball's rushed over the line by Lee Irons in the half forward line uh, just inside the 50 metre mark for the Wallen side that third kick was uh, a little bit risky there but uh, overall they've done a very good job Kilmore, the throwing comes in, a big knock out to Wallen but taken straight away there by Desmond who's kick smothered uh, they dive on the ball uh, no one can get it, umpire's going to come in and throw it up about 25 metres out from the Wallen goal and directly in front there's the throw up no one gets a decisive knock eventually Cruiser wins it on the second top but his, uh, his uh, kick is taken by Mark as the siren goes a juggling mark on the siren no mark says the umpire and uh, Frosty you'll have to give it back to the umpire because the siren did beat you and there we have it at half time Nath the central forward scoreboard reads Kilmore 6-4-40 um, level with Wallen at 5-10-40 so uh, it's an even game here at half time and um